So that's, this is why you guys are here, creating lean leaders who can engage people towards a purpose by improving existing process. Lean is very simple. Lean is all about three Ps, if you guys can remember. People, purpose, process. And lean connects all of them. If you guys thought you were coming here for Six Sigma or statistical knowledge, sorry, wrong room. I've been in job for almost 24 years, and I will be honest with you, maybe 5 to 7% of the time, I will use Six Sigma or I will use too much of statistics. I do use data, but I don't go crazy about data. It's more about having a purpose. It's all more about engaging your people. And there are four chapters which we'll be covering. Number one, organize, organization's culture and leadership skills. How many people agree if you don't have this, this is all waste? Please, raise your hands. And I work in all the sectors. That's the first thing I'm seeing. Either the owners or the middle managers or the managers don't have that culture to engage people or they don't have the leadership skills to engage people. And then they are doing process reviews, they are finding inefficiencies, but at the end of the day they are saying the bottom line is not improving or we are not achieving what we want to achieve. Number one, culture and leadership skills. Number two, daily management towards a purpose. Once you know your purpose, once you know your objectives, then you guys can say, okay, Let's focus, let's focus, let's focus. I'm not trying to hear uh, to glorify Japanese. One thing I loved about Japanese organizations, they were very focused. And please correct me if you're wrong, and very, focused. very, very focused. So he's from a Japanese organization. Again, I'm not here to glorify Japanese, Germans, or Americans, but we are teaching something which Japanese have taken from North America. They didn't create it. They took it from here, and they have mastered it. Number three, once you have daily management towards a purpose and you engage your people, what will happen? When you engage your people and you ask them every day, we are not achieving the objective, what will happen? They'll start to believe in the process. They'll start believing in the process and they will start bringing all the dirty laundry, all the inefficiencies up to the surface. If you don't ask, you're not going to get. I can tell you right now. Once you have your daily management towards a purpose, inefficiencies will automatically walk up to you. They will line up in front of you. You just have to kill them. Then you can apply problem solving. Then you can apply process improvement. This is my 23 years of experience and my knowledge that I've gained from Honda. And I've failed in other sectors. I've learned in other, other sectors. That's what I've come up with. Gemba, one word. Please remember this. You will hear a lot, hear a lot. And while you are in lean circles, we, people will tell you, hey, did you do Gemba walk? And if you say, what is Gemba? Actually, you are pointing towards me. I didn't even teach you what Gemba is. Gemba means process. Gemba could be in transit. Your Gemba could be in parks and forestry. Wherever it happens, walk the process. That's Toyota's philosophy. Don't talk, talk about process. So I have learned by walking the process. And I will be pushing you guys a lot do not talk about processes, go walk the process. This is my experience, 23 years of experience in automotive and public service and now in every sector. I've coached, these numbers have changed, I've coached over 4,500 people or trained them and I've done around 150 plus projects, small, medium, large, okay? And I'm an automotive engineer by background, project manager, Six Sigma Black Belt and an ad car change agent. How many people have heard about ProSci ad car change management? Two people. How many people have heard about John Cotter? Great. We will share that with you. This is change management philosophy. Lots of people may ask me all the time, what does QCDMS stands for? Honda has put it in my mind. QCDMS stands for quality, cost, delivery, morale, safety. Do you guys have these KPIs? I want you to have a quick look and tell me, you guys are all from different sectors, you will know right now when you share. Do you guys have all of these things in your jobs, in your process, or in your key performance measures? That's what my consulting company name is, QCDMS Consultant. Quality, cost, delivery, morale, safety. With Lean, you can improve all of them. 
one thing new they have added, I didn't put it here, E, environment. So please remember that. This is what we do. We do training, coaching, consulting, and group facilitation. We only don't do these classrooms. We go into the whole company, and we work with them. Lean can be applied in any sector. Lean and Six Sigma is there, but we are extending our portfolio. So we will have innovation. We will have project management, change management, and leadership, and other stuff. But today's topic is lean. So we'll stay focused on lean. So there are two or three different types of innovation. One innovation is incremental, which you make every day. Then there is, of course, out of the box thinking, and you bring a new product like Apple and like other people are doing, like Elon Musk is trying to do, right? But today we are talking mostly, first, go back to basics. Do incremental changes in the job. And keep, make, keep making those changes and, and please sustain them, OK? This is my 11th session. And all the people have come from different sectors. Tons of time I've been told outside, not in the room, that CJ, why do you do a mix of training? But people in the room have loved this. So they can hear from different sectors. You guys all have same challenges you don't realize. Already talked about this, different way of looking at it. So you guys all have this. Why don't you guys have a look at this? This is my model. OK, have a look at it. The first chapter is create culture. The second chapter is setting the purpose and objectives of the organization. The second part of second chapter is having daily management. And the last chapter is doing problem solving and process improvement. I have seen many companies jumping right here. CJ, process improvement, awesome. I'm a consultant. I'll go and help them with process improvement. But if you really want to create a culture of lean, this is what I suggest. Do it with me, without me, as long as it makes sense to you. Please have a quick read and ask me any question. This is how we have broken this four chapters, and we will follow this model throughout. Voice of customers, voice of business. Business tells you profit, loss, blah, 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 blah. There are lights always, those controllers. Voice of the process, go talk. Listen to your process. And VOE, voice of the employees. Mix them up. Employees. employees. Listen, and there should be VOS also, voice of stakeholders. But I don't want you to go crazy. Please remember that. 360 degree, listen to everyone. Keep your ears open. And set your KPIs after that. This is the model you are taking away. You are becoming lean leaders. I think every lean leader should create a culture, should know daily management, should know what, why they exist every day, and then they should be finding inefficiencies and killing them. Small, medium, large, whatever kind of pains you find. Lots of time I hear, oh, CJ, I'm very busy. You're busy doing non-value added activities. Take time out, walk the process. Otherwise, keep on getting what you're getting. If you do what you've always done, you will always get what you always got. Again, white belt is we do half a day training. You guys may say, CJ, come do a half day training with our teams. I'm going to engage them within a half day. Pick up some processes. Four of, if Let's say you have 20 people. Bring four processes, five people, five people, five people. I'll train them, and I'll give you a list of 60 inefficiencies right in the room. Your people will be engaged. Yellow belt, you're already going through. Green belt, I'm doing. Three, next three Saturdays, February 24th, March 3rd, March 10th. If you love it, I'm going to teach you bigger tools, time and motion studies, capacity studies, how to deep dive and do a big process improvement event. People know they have to change the wheel. They don't have time to change the wheel. And they keep on working. If you ask them your day, eight hours, what are you doing? Everybody says 30 to 40% of the time, I'm doing non-value added activities. Then I ask them, why don't you change it? I don't have time, CJ. What do you think I'm free? Sorry, this is the first challenging question I'm asking you guys. Before you try to lean the processes, lean your day. Start realizing, what am I doing the whole day in eight hours? OK? So first chapter is or not even first chapter. Before first chapter, lean introduction, awareness around lean philosophy, and most important thing, Learn to see waste. The biggest problem I've seen is leaders or even you guys, and even when I was, even I may, I may do it today, I walk by waste every day. 
and I don't say waste. I don't call it out. What are, what are you doing when you walk by waste every day? As a leader or as a manager or as an employee, what are you saying, actually? We see huge inventories. We see process. I've done tons of public service processes. A building pro permit process comes six, seven times. And we keep on doing the same thing. And we're saying, it's OK. And at the end of the day, council gave us more manpower. What have we just done? It's OK to have waste. So first thing is, learn to see waste.